Hi, I'm Marisa Hasek. I'm the Communications Director with the Deschutes River Conservancy. We're here back with um, Water Talks number two. We're talking about what happened with water this summer. I'm here with Kyle Gorman from the Oregon Water Resources Department, Region Manager, and Kate Fitzpatrick from the DRC. Um, Kyle, we had a lot of dramatic and unusual events that happened this year in the basin with water management and water supply. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened? Yes, Marisa, thank you. Yeah. The 2020 water year is one for the record books, but one that we don't want to see again. So Wikiup Reservoir started the irrigation season at its lowest fill ever. And then by the end of the season, mid-September, the reservoir was drained. So it went from a, a record low start to being empty, and that's never happened in 70 years. Also, the Arnold Irrigation District had to turn off their canal. There was water was not available to them. And about mid-August uh, mid and through the next 30 days, they had to leave their canal off. And that's very unusual for an irrigation district in Central Oregon to have to turn off their canal due to a lack of water. The North Unit Irrigation District also, because of that uh, draining of Wikiup, had to turn their canal off or run it at very low levels. So some of these things that we saw this year have not happened or are very unusual 25, 30 year events. So it was a very, unusual summer and uh, one that we just really don't want to see again. Okay, yeah, thanks for that explanation. Um, we have a, a really unique hydro, uh, really unique, really unique geology here, hydrogeology in um, the Deschutes Basin. How did this play into what happened this summer? Well, the Deschutes River and its hydrology is very unique. Uh, the upper basin where a lot of the snow accumulates, the geology there is very young, Coarse lavas. So the infiltration from snow melt and precipitation readily goes into the ground and then it reemerges as springs. So the majority of the upper Deschutes River's flow or base flow is made from spring discharge. Such a large component of spring discharge in a river, it's very stable and it can buffer against short term droughts. However, what we've seen over the last seven years in the Deschutes as well as South Central Oregon is uh, year after year of drought conditions or uh, very low snowpack or about average. So we haven't had any big years and those cumulative effects have taken its toll on the Deschutes River this year. The natural flow at Bend is typically about 1,400 cubic feet per second and this summer it was 1,000 cubic feet per second. So it was off by 400 CFS and that had a dramatic effect on our water supply. That, that stable base flow makes up a large portion of the available water, the irrigation districts, and it just wasn't there this year. And, and we suffered the comp consequences of that. So it was a really bad year and the Deschutes is really suffering from those cumulative effects of low snowpack over multiple years. Profound effect on um, people using water and the river itself. Um, Kate, we're gonna be putting up a graphic to help you guys visualize the basin. Kate, can you um, explain what we're seeing and how this is, um, how the DRC is working towards improving this situation. Sure, thank you, Marisa. This, this graphic really just drives home visually the point that Kyle made that we are in an extreme drought year. So what you're looking at, if you orient at that green spot in the middle, that's the city of Bend. And then if you go south, you're actually going upstream on the Deschutes River towards the headwaters, and there's a series of reservoirs up there, Wikiup Reservoir and Cream Prairie Reservoir. And those teacup diagrams that you see next to those reservoirs show you how much water is in those at any given time. As you can see, Wikiup Reservoir is empty at this point, and the, that was Kyle's, the information that Kyle shared with us. Um, this also shows stream flows in different areas. Now the DRC has been working for a long time on trying to solve low stream flow issues in the basin. And a year like this drought year really makes that work harder. The other important thing to know is those reservoirs are shared by four irrigation districts. And so solving these problems in every year, but especially in drought years requires coordinating between multiple irrigation districts and working together so we can actually make the conditions better for the river and for the irrigators that need that water. So we look forward to talking more in depth about you know, how those irrigation districts work together and the projects and programs the DRC is working on with them in our next water talk. Great, so th um, thanks for bringing up our next water talk, Kate. We're gonna be talking a little bit more. So right now we're talking about water supply 
And then we'll be moving on to how water is used and how that came into play this year with uh, the water struggles that we saw. So we're looking forward to talking to you guys again next week. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.